So when I first got these shrimps and a couple of plants, somewhere snails hijacked along the way. And when I first noticed one or two, I didn't realize that one or two snails led to plague proportions, especially if you don't watch your feeding and things like that. So they do become a bit of a problem. I normally manage them with food. I recently looked at a lot of options you can buy different things, different companies sell different solutions to this. They all seem to work on the same principle. Snails go in, snails are in there when you pull it out. So I'm gonna go with the cheap option. So this here's the trap. It's just an old barbecue sauce bottle. I took the label off with some hot water. And basically, I just drilled three holes either side and some on top to let the air out. I've got a few pebbles in there to weight it down. I last time, so I'm gonna use some, uh, I've just been using some algae wafers, but uh, zucchini or something will work just fine as well. And uh, this is a real cheap version and uh, effective version of what they try and sell you on all these websites. So before you buy one of them, have a look at these. So what led me to try out this trap situation is I've been noticing a lot of microscopic baby snails getting around. They don't have any predators in this tank whatsoever. They've only got a little bit of competition from the shrimp for food, but no actual predators. And after about an hour, the whole thing was completely full of shrimp. So I've left the trap for like a 12 hour period overnight. And as you can see, it's been quite a success. It's actually full of snails. So this was 12 hours over the dark period. Most of the shrimp seem to clean out, clear out. There's a few shrimp left in there, but not like that feeding frenzy that you saw before. And uh, they're not hanging out in their snail spot. This used to be where the snails were congregating. That's what led me to realize how many were actually in there and they were getting to be a bit of a problem. They've all moved out, they're in there. So hopefully I'll be able to raise this trap out slowly, open the cap, let the water come out. Hopefully the shrimp go with it, leaving just the snails. I'll kindly escort them outside. You know, been kicked out, they've had enough. And uh, hopefully the balance between shrimp and snails is a bit more equal and better now. The snails were just exploding. Um, probably a little bit of overfeeding, but I'm also trying to get this tank back on the line. The, the plant growth and stuff is getting better. It's looking a lot more lush uh, the, to the top. I'm still losing the duckweeds, not really thriving and etc. <clears throat> right, so I'll delicately pull it out. Hopefully keeping all the shrimp in, in here. Uh, sorry, hopefully keeping all the snails in here. Letting the shrimp out as I go. Right, as you can see here, this is the amount of snails that I got in that one trap setting. So what I might do is I might actually set it again, leave it for another night, see how many I get. If I get the same results, I'll do it again. And eventually I'll get the snail population in this tank right down minuscule. And then I can just control it with feeding. Obviously these have been getting a little bit too much feed. So the snail population has been growing. I have been, uh, experimenting with food levels because I've just added the, the plecos in there. So, you know, upping the food a little bit to compensate for the plecos. Obviously there's too much, I'm still getting quite a bit of string algae. And uh, so I'm gonna bring the food down, but in the meantime, this is a great result and I'm gonna keep catching snails. Takes five minutes to set up, five minutes to rip out. Couldn't be better. Duckweed and that is still struggling, but once we get these snails, I'll get these snails out. I'll take out a bit more of this string algae. That's making a nice little bed at the back there. Just keep on top of that, keep on top of these snails. I might give it a couple of days and uh, set up another snail trap. 